Today it's called Shapes at Home and then I'm going to tell you a fun activity that you can do with it and the book's called Shapes at Home and the author is Lisa Bruce and the publisher is Rain Tree. Rectangles. This shape is a rectangle. The drawers in this dresser are rectangles. A rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four corners too. One, two, three, four. Rectangles at home. There are lots of rectangles near this front door. Where are some rectangles in your house? So maybe later on you can think about that and go find some rectangles around your house. Squares. This shape is a square. A square is a special rectangle. It is special because all the sides are the same length. They're all the same size. Squares at home. There are square shapes in this living room. Can you find some? Do you see any squares? How about in your house? Circles. This shape is a circle. A circle is round. Every part of the edge is the same distance from the center. And you can see it goes like that. Circles at home. There are circles everywhere. Can you find some circles in this kitchen? I see a lot. Do you see them? Triangles. Triangles have three sides. The sides meet at three corners. One, two, three. This shape is a triangle. What part of this house is a triangle? Hmm, do you see it? I see it. Triangles to eat. Triangle pizza, cheese, and cake. What shapes do the toast and chips make? I see that. What shape do you think the toast and the chips are? Other shapes. There are lots of other shapes. Do you have any of these shapes at home? That there's an oval, a crescent, a hexagon, and a star. What are some shapes in this toy box? You can take a second and look at some of those shapes. Okay, now I want you to watch um, the rest of this video and I'm going to show you some shapes around my house and then I want you to go and look for shapes in your house. Now I'm outside looking for some shapes. We have a bird bath that's shaped like what? You're right, it's a circle. And we have a bird feeder, it's a ground feeder where they come to eat and it has two short sides and two long sides. So that makes it what? You 
you got it, a rectangle. Now, if we look over on the tree, I see a woodpecker eating from the bird feeder. There's a little knot in the tree and it's shaped like a circle. And then there's another bird feeder on the tree and it has four sides that are all the same. So that makes it what? Yes, it's a square. I was driving in my car today and I noticed there were lots of shapes in my car. Do you see any shapes? I see right here, there's a triangle. If I push that, then my lights will blink and it might tell the car behind me that I'm slowing down and maybe my car is having some trouble. The screen has two long sides and two short sides. So what does it make that? You're right, it's a rectangle. And I see some circles where I can push the buttons and change the radio station. And inside those circles, what do you see? Do you see the triangles? I see them too. So when you're in your car driving with your family, look for shapes. I have one more fun surprise I wanted to show you. This is our new kitten, Molly. And as I was looking at her, I noticed that she had some shapes on her face. If you look at her eyes, they're circles. Her little nose is shaped like a triangle and so are her little ears. And I just wanted to show Molly to you and she wanted to say hi.